It's the first day of April and the normal high for Minot 63 degrees with a low just a few degrees above freezing at 37. Well, it's first day of May and as we go into the end of May, normal high rises into the 70s with lows closer to 50 degrees. So we've got the warm season officially underway and we're going to look forward to chances for showers across the region on Thursday. But for now, yeah, a little gloomy out west and over town, but uh, mainly dry a couple of sprinkles possible, but I think our better rain chances are going to hold off at least until later tonight and into your Thursday. We're at 56 degrees right now. As far as the wind, a light little breeze out of the west continues anywhere between 10 to 20 miles per hour. Expect the light wind for Thursday, but Friday the west wind could become a bit breezy, so expect the potential of near 30 mile per hour wind gusts. And then on Saturday, west wind remaining light, but that's going to allow us to warm up back in into the 60s and eventually 70s for the second half of your weekend. Showers and thunderstorms again impacting the Lone Star State with severe weather, severe thunderstorms and tornadoes have been reported in the Lone Star State with that storm system. But at home, our storm system still well off to our south and west in Wyoming, but lots of moisture being plunged into the Peace Garden State and that will continue overnight. But for now, maybe a light sprinkle or two, but I think many of us remain dry at least for the evening. Tomorrow is where we have to watch out for the chances of increasing showers to return, especially after the three o'clock hour tomorrow morning into at least the early afternoon. We'll have a 50% chance of showers tomorrow morning. Um, a break during the afternoon and then by at least the commute home tomorrow afternoon and evening. Uh, that's where we could run into a few more isolated showers, maybe even a rumble of thunder that can't be ruled out for tomorrow. But you notice uh, mostly along and east of 83. That's where the best rain chances for tomorrow morning are going to be into the afternoon, especially for the Turtle Mountain region and along 52. Now notice as we get into the late afternoon and evening could see a couple of isolated showers and isolated storms possibly popping up along and west of Highway 83. And then that should gradually dissipate as we go into or at least once we get past sunset. So for tomorrow, places that we can pick up anywhere from a tenth of an inch maybe a quarter of an inch of rain. The farther south you go, Bismarck into Harvey, as well as Jamestown, that's where they can pick up half an inch or more of rain. Now that's just for tomorrow. We're not done with the rain just yet over the coming days. Friday is going to be a bit windy. Saturday though and Sunday will likely have 60s, maybe even 70s in store for the forecast. So I just want to make everyone aware that we will have returning chances of showers coming into the forecast for next week and overall as a whole many of us could pick up in a hole from tomorrow into the early part of the next work week an inch or more of rain so when will we get a break well that will be over the weekend more rain chances will be likely for monday tuesday and wednesday of next week as well so we will be monitoring that also one mention joe uh friday morning a couple of spots may be cool enough to get a wintry mix. No accumulation expected, but that's something else we'll have to keep an eye on as well for Friday morning. All right, thank you, Henry.